for a bunch of years, I confused him with Josh Dumel. What's up, Wolf Packers? It's your boy, Wolf Doggy Dog. Today, we've got a special delivery from the good folks at Amazon. Raylan Givens, Sheriff Bullock, Cobb Vanth, Timothy Oliphant. Don't forget, he was also your agent 47. We've got him, guys. Stick around. All right, we got Cobb Vanth out of the box. Let's check him out. Before we do that, don't forget to drop us a like. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. Share us with some Star Wars enthusiasts. Initial looks are pretty good. The knock on this one was that it was a deluxe price without a deluxe size figure. So right off top, one of the best features that I like on this figure is how weathered the armor is. The best car has seen better days. The Sands of Tatooine. The Marshal of Moss Pelago. Guys, question of the day. What is your favorite character played by Timothy Oliphant? I kind of hated him in Scream 2 and Gone in 60 Seconds. He kind of played the D-bag role for a good little while. I'm, I can't even remember what role it was that made me start liking him. You want to be president? Let me tell you the first rule of politics. Always know if the juice is worth the squeeze. Here we have Cobb Vanth with the deluxe Boba Fett flame effect. Shout out to Hasbro for making the flame effect compatible with this version. Good on you, Hasbro. Now let's talk face scopes as opposed to box art. What are we thinking on this? Teeny tiny scuff on his eyebrow. If you're a perfectionist, it bugs you. I like the wash on the hair. Pretty cool. Nice molding on the beard. I like it. It's not 100%, but I'll take it. We'll get into comparisons with other Boba Fett figures in just a little bit. For now, let's see what you can do, Cobb Vanth. Cobb Vanth can spread it open that far. Really good kick up, but no kick back. Full 360 on the thigh cut, single joint at the knees, no kicking of the butt. No calf swivel, but you will get the bend at the knee. Pretty much your basic drop down, and then very minimal kick up. First off, before we start the upper body articulation, I'm going to tell you that butterfly joints would have hurt the overall look of the chest piece on this. If you're cool with that, we can move forward. If not, let me know in the comments below. As we look at the back piece, we see that his do-rag or bandana is very thin, so be careful with that, and you see the peg holes for the jetpack. As well as tubing that goes to, I think about nothing, I don't know, maybe like a console or something, because his jet rocket pack is here, and his flamethrower is there as well. So the shoulder pads are going to be a problem if you're going to want that 90 degree angle on the arms. It can be done, but it's not the best look on the figure. Butterfly, you're going to open up about that much. Here's where the problem lies. You will not be able to get the full 360, as you will clearly see. And then we've got a really fluid upper diaphragm rocker and no waist swivel, so it's all going to be from the diaphragm rocker. Soft pliable rubber on the armor chest plate. What do you say we do a little comparison? Shout out to the Fett brothers. This is everyone who has ever worn the Boba Fett armor. For good measure, I'll throw in Super Commando Maul because it's a repaint of Jango Fett's armor. So Timothy Oliphant, slightly taller than Tamar Morrison. I don't know if you'd call this a flaw, but one of the things that I've noticed is that the helmet is a lot thicker. 
because there is a Cobb Vanth head scope in there. But don't forget guys, there is an unpainted Tamar Morrison head under your deluxe figure. So after taking in the armor for a touch up, we see the freshly painted Boba Fett armor. Same issue that we're having with the helmets that they're a little bit chunky, a little bit thicker at the base. But that's because there's an unmasked head underneath that helmet. All right, ladies and fellas, if you have one, time to whip it out. It's jetpack comparison time. So I never noticed it in the show, but the rocket is not the exact same rocket that Boba Fett had. And of course, once he reclaimed it, he went back to his original rocket. Beskar Mando as well as Darth Maul Mandalorian. No rocket for Din Djarin, but Darth Maul don't mess around. Ladies, you're up. Katie Sackhoff and Sasha Banks. So the ladies have a much smaller jetpack. I don't mind it. They have smaller torsos. They look almost like the NASA project. Up next, we've got a Mandalorian loyalist as well as a 501st clone trooper. Almost identical jetpacks for the Mandalorian as well as the Clone Trooper. And now to round out the jetpack comparison, we've got the Stormtrooper Jetpack Troopers. Much smaller, clearly used for short distances. You can also pick up the First Order Stormtroopers. And just to say that we did it, we've got the Favonro Twins. It's a chain gun, minigun, and a jetpack. This guy's got a squat big weight. We've already got a Bad Batch Cad Bane coming down the pipeline, so as sure as I am that these two will square off again in season three of Mandalorian, that's how sure I am that they're gonna resell us a Mandalorian. Updated characters, I mean, it's Hasbro. It's gonna happen, bro. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this one. Overall, let me know what you thought about the figure. For me, I'm going to say it's at least an 8, possibly a 9. The price point doesn't bother me. I like everything that this figure has to offer. Plus, it's something that you do need if you're collecting anything from the Mandalorian way, from the Mandalorian line. Face scope could have been better. I would have liked some blast effects to come with the jetpack. Let's give it an 8.5. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments below. Drop us a like if you enjoyed this one. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. Deuces. We will catch you on the next one. We'll